Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the travel distance between one step and another step. Because uh, to be realistic in every system, you need there is some walking distance between the steps. Walking distance mean what? Like there is a distance between one step and another step. Okay, so let's 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 talk a little bit about this. So what I'm trying to say, like if you starting from the system end to machine A, there is like 50 meters from machine A to machine B, there are like 100 meters and you don't want, well, in the model you can place them like really next to each other, but the distance is like one kilometer and another one really close to each other and the distance is like one meter. So the length of the line is not, does not represent how long it is. It could, but I would advise you not to represent how long it is. You represent how long it is through the numbers. Okay, so let's see how it is done. And then if you have any question, you would let me know. So we do file preferences, file preferences distance, set it to zero. Okay. And which mean here all the traveling distance is happening instantly, like in a second, not even a second, in a tick of a second. So the time is travel speed default is 10 meters per time unit and or pixels, how many pixels per meter. Okay, meaning what? So here if you def define, if you show the grid, so this is a pixel. So how many pixels? If you want really to use I would not advise you because this looks horrible. Okay, so if we... Okay, so what I'm trying to say here, just keep it... Let me fix this. Because here what I did, I did snapping to grid and kind of messing it up. Okay, so let's do this again. Uh, so do not rely on uh, do not rely on uh, the pixels on the screen. Another things I need to define, resource as shared between activities, like one resource could be between more than one activity, but they don't spend time traveling between activities. They can travel without work adding between false and useless memory, which is not very realistic. Like if one operator is in charge of two machines, there's a travel backward and forward. It's traveling between, so it's always have to be option two. Option two meaning what? If you're in charge of more than one step, you have to travel backward and forward to that system. And you have the distance measure in meters, feet, customs, so it has to be in meters. Now we did set it to zero. Automatic setup on new root arrows, adjust as root. Always have, you have to untick this one. So if you change the distance on the screen, so by default it become longer. So always have to click that one. Okay. So let me show you how to do uh, the travel time matrix. So you click on this one and okay, let's put it here and you say auto filler. So we have, let's do it properly. So we have machine A, machine B, system N. Where it's empty boxes, so you could really place those values and system exit. Where there's a dash, you can't change those values. So from system in to Q for machine A, so we have 550 meters. And from machine A to Q for machine B, we have 5,000 or 500 meters. And from machine B to system exit, we have 1,000 meters. Just like really far, but this is just an example. If you want to put uh, only machine A, you click on machine A. If you want only machine B, click on machine B. So it's really, really easy and very straightforward. Okay, so I'm click on OK. Even if I make this one shorter, uh, closer, sorry, or farther away, we still have the same one, it does not change. But before, if you let me show you this again, sorry. So if we hear preferences and we click on adjust as rule arrow change, that value would change. So if I click on this and then OK and I move this one here and then I go back to the travel metric, you could see that value is different, 1.79, before it was 1000. That's why I don't advise you to click on that one, 
change it literally by hand and it will, memo it will be memorized as those values as we did here okay so this is the travel matrix uh, the one we have and it must you must adapt it in a system so if we uh, here if we say text box so this is the system uh, if you want to make this one for example bigger so this one is 18 you want it to be a color blue okay and so this is so if you want for example insert shape you want it like a rounded box around it so this one goes Okay, step back, send it to back, as you could see here. If you're not happy with that color, you can make it. I'm, I'm really not good into those things, but like, you can just do things to it. As you could see here, it has a line thickness. Perfect. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, it looks horrible, but it's uh, one way to do things. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. I left my email address in the box below. So, okay. Thank you.